Hey everyone, Zian over here from Nintendo Life, and I know this may feel like it was a lifetime ago, but remember last year at E3, the world was given the first look at a brand new animated adventure from Ubisoft named Gods and Monsters. And after a year's worth of radio silence, we were finally treated to our first look at gameplay, along with a new take it or leave it name, Immortals Phoenix Rising. Now, there's no hiding the fact that Immortals is an open world action and adventure that shares many similarities with one of our favorite Switch titles, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. However, to be fair, many of the elements that make Breath of the Wild the joy that it is were also inspired by many games that came before it, like the Assassin's Creed series. And as a matter of fact, the team behind Immortals, Ubisoft Quebec, actually developed Assassin's Creed Syndicate and Assassin's Creed Odyssey, so we have a feeling they may know what they're up to here. Last week, we were fortunate enough to go hands-on with the game for a whopping four hours. And while, unfortunately, we streamed a PC version of the game and still have yet to see the game running on Switch hardware, it still gave us a good look at what to expect gameplay-wise when it arrives on shelves later this year. So with that said, all of the gameplay that you're going to be seeing in this preview was captured during our private demo of the game, but it was all captured through PC. So of course, when Immortals Phoenix Rising does come to Switch, you can expect some graphical differences, but gameplay-wise, everything should be the same. As you'd expect, many gameplay elements from both Assassin's Creed and Breath of the Wild have been carried over. You're able to run, jump, swim underwater, which we'll get to more later, and climb anything you can set your sights on, as long as your stamina bar permits it. You're also given a number of weapons and abilities that will help you maneuver the terrain and take down enemies that stand in your way. The Sword of Achilles, for example, is best for quick jabs at your enemy. Hephaestus' hammer swings harder and further, but in turn moves a lot slower. The Bow of Odysseus allows for long-range takedowns, and you can even fire an arrow and control it in slow motion to hit a target in a hard-to-reach area. And the Bracers of Heracles allow you to lift objects and pull enemies closer to you in battle. Eventually, you'll be given access to the Wings of Daedalus, which allow you to glide around the map and can even propel you into the air for aerial combat. Your toolbox is vast, and you're able to expand upon it further with new skills and blessings from the gods. While you're given the entire map to explore in any order you like, your main goal is to find the four gods hidden within the region of the Golden Isle and restore their powers. During our time, we encountered Aphrodite, the god of love, whose essence had been locked away. She sent us on a mission to bring her back some special sea foam, which required us to defeat a giant cyclops, a pack of harpies, and we had to roll a giant pearl down a long and winding path until it eventually fell into the ocean, which in turn gave us a better look at the physics system. Normally in this mission, the player would have to physically push the pearl through the path and defeat the enemies that were in the way. But since we had been given such a heavy stat boost to help see more of what the game had to offer, the main character Phoenix was much stronger than they should have been at this point, and we were able to actually use the hammer to strike the pearl and hurl it through the sky towards its destination. It was great to see that missions can be tackled in unique ways, allowing you to play the way that you want to play. Vaults of Tartarus, which act like compact dungeons or even the shrines in Breath of the Wild, are also hidden all around the map for you to discover. Some vaults hold puzzles for you to solve, intricate platforming segments, or might even house boss encounters, and their milky galaxy interior is definitely a sight to behold. One particular element that surprised us the most was the fact that you're actually able to swim freely and explore underwater whenever you like, as long as you can afford the stamina. Unfortunately, we clung to dry land for the majority of our demo, but the thought of discovering a sunken city or finding lost treasure underwater is an extremely exciting endeavor, and honestly, just thinking about it again has us ready to dive back into its waters. Now as for the story, it follows Phoenix, a bottom of the barrel shield bearer who's washed ashore on an unfamiliar island after their ship was destroyed during a heavy storm. After making their way off the shore alone, they quickly encounter their team, who've unfortunately all been turned to stone, including their brother, Ligurian. And even though Phoenix has never actually been in battle, they've trained before but never actually fought in a real battle. Phoenix takes their brother's sword and swears to bring him back one way or another. The tyrant behind all the carnage is none other than Typhon, the most dangerous, menacing titan in Greek mythology. He's lured in the majority of the gods of Olympus and stripped them of their powers, and it's up to you to help them get their abilities back. 
Thankfully though, you won't have to go it all alone, as the mischievous god Hermes has a few tricks up his sleeve to help make the journey go a little more in your favor. On your journey, both Prometheus and Zeus will narrate parts of the story, similar in ways to Bastion, they just don't chat as often. The two gods usually only chime in when there is something relevant to speak about or is a good opportunity to make a joke at your expense, which in our opinion is where the dialogue truly shines. Immortals is packed to the brim with humor and mythological lore. At one point during our demo, we caught Prometheus retelling the complicated tale of Aphrodite's birth to Zeus, and he wasn't the least bit pleased about it. We were even informed that the devs drew a lot of inspiration on the writing side from the movie The Princess Bride, and if you've seen that film, which basically everyone should at this point, it's very much evident. Phoenix also conveys an extreme amount of emotion in their dialogue and in their facial reactions. During our time with the game, we chose a Phoenix with more feminine traits, and we almost instantly fell in love with her character. Phoenix is an extremely silly and gullible, but determined hero, and regardless of which style avatar or voice you decide to go with, their dialogue and delivery will also be the same. In comparison to a game like Breath of the Wild, Immortals really helps its story by giving its protagonist a voice and letting them fly away with it. You can also fully customize Phoenix from their body type, voice, skin tone, hair color, you name it. At the start, we stuck pretty close to the standard look for Phoenix, but eventually we changed them up to look more like Zelda from Breath of the Wild, but we totally whiffed her eye color anyway, so way to go Xeon, you big Zelda fan. <laughs> On your journey, you'll also find new armor and weapons that'll boost your stats. And if you happen to prefer the look of a particular piece of equipment over another, you can equip any armor piece for its stats and then reskin it with another piece of armor that you already own. There's no denying Immortals Phoenix Rising is one of the best looking games we've seen in a long time. From its lush and magical environments to its almost Pixar quality cutscenes, our jaws were on the floor while having just streamed the game at a lower resolution from Ubisoft servers than we'd expect to see it in person. Of course, when Immortals does make the leap to Switch, the graphical quality will take a noticeable dip, but exactly how much will change is still a question we'll only be able to answer once we get our hands on a review copy of the game. Immortals Phoenix Rising has had our attention since the very beginning, and after spending a few short hours with the game, a few short hours that absolutely flew by, we can't wait to see what else this adventure has to offer come December 3rd. Feel free to let us know in the comments down below if Immortals Phoenix Rising has your attention. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this, then why don't you go ahead and strike that subscribe button with the hammer of Hephaestus, and then ring that notification bell to be notified whenever we release new videos. Thank you all so much for watching, I'm Zian from Nintendo Life, stay safe out there and we will see you next time. From the sea foam, Aphrodite rose. Full grown, beautiful as that same pearl. I can't take this anymore. Zeus, Gaia lied to you about how Aphrodite was born. Oh yeah? Then tell me how it really happened. Kronos and Kronos, they fought. You can't be serious. Fell into the sea. That's... Because Kronos cut off his... Uh, you're sick, Prometheus! Do not talk to me!